Alright, hey guys. Um, this is kind of off the, uh, the AI tutorial series that I've been working on, but it was something that I kind of wanted to try my hand at because I saw a bunch of people asking about it. Um, and that's AI jumping. Um, across, specifically across gaps. Uh, so I kind of wanted to show that off, show how I did that uh, in Blueprint. Because everybody was saying that, you know, we need C++, which it's, uh, it doesn't, really. So, yeah. So let's show this off. We've got an AI that's jumping through. And it goes to the end point. And that's pretty much it. So let's show off how I did it. Um, so, obviously you're going to need your nav mesh bounds value. Um, to show off, I mean, you can put this in the AI character in the other series if you want to. Um, but I decided to make a new one. So, in order to do that, we'll grab the third person character, create a new AI folder, and just drag that in there. Select copy. And then here, I'll just rename him. Go into blueprint class. You want it in all classes. You want an AI controller. So select that. I named mine AI brain. That's my kind of go-to name for it. Open up your AI character. And just go ahead and delete everything that's in here. You don't need any of that. And close it. Oh, no, don't close it yet. Sorry. You want to go to class defaults and change the AI controller class to AI brain, which is of course our controller. So now I'm going to open up this. You want to create a custom event, which again is T dot this one that. Call it move to spot or location, or, or well not location because it, it'll give you an error, um, but move to position, you know. Which, however you want to do it. Uh, and then on event we can play, just call that event. Don't worry about this stuff, we'll, we'll do that in a second. So now we'll create our trigger, the V port. We want to create a box collision. Um, you don't have to resize it or anything. Uh, box collision here, I need to rename mine trigger. Just keep it in the center, you don't have to resize nothing, just leave it. And then scroll down, so that we can play, or uh, <laughs> on a component we can overlap, click the plus sign and it'll generate it. I'm going to cast to AI character, drag off, and choose jump. And then, you basically just want to duplicate, so right click, duplicate that, and just uh, delete this stuff because all you really need in here is the, the trigger, or the, uh, the item. Okay. So now, get all actors of class. You want trigger one, which is the one we deduplicated. Um, uh, out act, or, or, I'm sorry, let me elaborate. The one with no code in it, where it's just the box collision. Trigger one that's the one you want. And then get, yeah, I move to, target actor, boom, boom, that's it. Okay. <coughs> okay, so now, what we want to do is go into our scene and just kind of set up items that are at a distance. So there's a gap in between it, just use blocks or something. Just make sure that your na navigation is long enough to cover them. Uh, in order to see it, select your viewport and just hit the letter P on the keyboard. Um, and that'll display your nav mesh. That's what the green is there. Alright, so now we want to go to, want to type in nav in under the first column here. Just type in nav there. And you want a nav link proxy you drag out and I'll have two points like that. Basically what you want to do here is set the points from here to here. Um, 
and the same thing here. Let me grab your nav, set the points from here to here, however many gaps you have essentially. And then the trigger that has the jump code in it, you want to place at the edge of your your spot here. Same thing over here. And then the the, one, the trigger without any code in it, which you'll see, edit trigger, edit trigger, and then edit trigger one. This is the one with no code in it. It's just for the location of the object. Um, you want to place that at the end or wherever you want the AI to run to. And then we'll hit play. Once you get that all set up, and our AI will go ahead and jump across the gaps. And that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, it was a short video, but um, I hope some of you find uh, use out of it. Thanks for watching.